So then he gave his public uh, his publishing back to all his former artists. Is it all of them or select few? I guess the ones that matter. Oh, okay. Did the band like, get there? I see Mark Curry like I see Mark Curry like wilding saying he want money, but it's like, bro, like I remember you on like maybe one song. Not saying he probably he on? Won't, not saying I didn't even uh, know who that was. Bad Boys for Life. I'm sure there's some sort of back. No, I'm I'm sure, and I I ain't trying to carry him. No, I'm saying I'm sure he probably got a lot of like writing credits and shit. But I'm not like, about Mark. I'm talking about as a, as a writer though, you don't like that's not your publishing unless it's just, your publishing on paper. Did he didn't just get these niggas back all their publishing? Nah, I don't so care what? I don't think what so. It, it's nah, I think so. Number one, did he got an album about to come out? So that's definitely part of that album rollout. I love album, right? Yeah, and I'm sure he's keeping some sort of back end of that publishing. Like, I mean, I'm sure I gave y'all. 80% of your publishing back. You own yeah, most. Well, I mean, Even he, did he might have been like, nigga, I gave y'all 55%, so you own most. Nah, he, get, he gave them 100%. He gave them their publishing back. But the thing was, I think it was more of a, like, his back was against the wall kind of situation because mm. it's like, because, you know, right now, everybody's selling their publishing. Like, Irv Gotti just sold yeah, Murder, he Inc. Was for selling like, it. Yeah, he just sold Murder, no Inc. Way, for like $600 million or something like that. So, um, so the nigga back won't against the wall because if I can sell my catalog, no, but what I'm saying, his back against dollar. the wall right. because, all right, so he got the album about to drop. He's Diddy, so you know he like a lot of his shit goes off of how people view him. Um, but if you sell your publishing, you sell all these artists publishing, yeah, and you get two, three hundred million dollars, and you already Diddy, you a fucking billionaire. Like it's gonna look crazy. So I, I think in his mind it was like, uh, if he if he were to sell it, it probably would have looked crazy to the public. You know what I'm saying? So it was actually a better chess move to give them their shit. I mean, back. I get it. I Either that or niggas. <laughs> Niggas corners just ain't niggas the blue I mean, the blue tops on niggas corners just ain't hitting like the like the, the, the problem with that like niggas, selling niggas, publisher. He could have sold the publisher, but he's not gonna include Biggie's publishing in that shit. No, he gave he gave Biggie's uh, a publishing to his estate, which is I guess his mom, his daughter, whoever. Oh, so. that's wild crazy, because he definitely yeah, nah. could have sold that shit for a billion dollars. He he definitely gave Biggie's publishing to uh Biggie's estate. So that's uh, fine. Like, like that's fine, really, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I didn't really look into it, I just saw the headlines. So. Yeah, um, yeah. So he gave. Um, matter of fact, I'm about to pull it. I'm about to pull it up so I can make sure everything is. It said publishing worth nothing now. That's why he gave it back. But I mean, people still paying millions of dollars for these catalogs. Nah, it's no way Briggy's publishing is worth nothing. It should be. I can't say that, can I? No. So, <laughs> so <laughs> not nothing. He gave. Uh, I forgot. Yeah. This is a black people. We're not allowed to disrespect Biggie. Yeah, he gave everybody their shit. Uh, Faith Evans, of course, the estate to B.I.G. He gave one twelve their shit. Um, and Mace. That's wild, crazy, because that could have easily if if Irv Gotti sold Murder Inc. for six hundred. Yeah, that's easily a billion dollar publishing catalog. Yeah. I don't know if I like niggas that much, or people like who are my yeah. age, like Loon Shine, like all them niggas got their publishing back. That's I, that's good though. But that's but you got to think so like that's just good business. And did he probably made? I mean, he's definitely made the money <laughs> twice so, over. <laughs> so, like, technically, he probably that's like, what he, uh, he threw them niggas scraps. Like, here, I'm done making money off of this shit. Y'all sell this shit. Y'all get it. But that's good. And now, like, I mean, you also don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Like him selling, him giving them they publishing might have opened up something on his end where he don't. There's that's what I'm saying. There's something that benefits Diddy in this. He didn't just do it out of the kindness of his, of his heart. Nigga. Yeah, because he a kind nigga, but he not, he's that not that kind, kind of a nigga. Like, <laughs> like nobody. Why would you sure. be? And he's rich, but he's not, you know, what's the nigga that on him? Jeff Bezos rich. Yeah. But ain't nobody Jeff Bezos rich except Jeff Bezos. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bezos can afford to give all the publishing He's the only back. nigga that's Jeff Bezos rich. But, um. Bill Gates pretty rich, and he just be chilling. Who? Bill Gates. Gates. I respect him just because of the way he built his empire, and he just, like, <laughs> took off into the shadows. Like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Just collect my checks every year. That's it.